Hey everybody, welcome back for another episode of Stuff on Steam, which I haven't done for a little while. Well, I haven't done a whole lot of anything in a little while, I guess, but I haven't done the Stuff on Steam because there hasn't been a lot to do. Uh, but there's some games that have come out which are really interesting, and you're going to get this today, Chip, rather than the other game I was going to do, because the other game, well, it's not very good anyway, but um, it won't record properly. Uh, stupid piece of crap. Unless you particularly want to watch... Uh, Mostly black screen with a small picture in the top left hand corner. I guess I won't be doing that one anytime soon But anyway on with this video and there's gonna be slight change to these um, games That I play for stuff on Steam for a start. I'm not going into them completely blind anymore I think it makes for a better video if I actually know what I'm doing uh, I can show what the game's really about rather than sitting going through a tutorial which uh, generally kind of sucks. Um, the other thing is I don't feel in the past I've been nearly critical enough on these uh, games. I mean there's no point me showing you a game and going on about it and then you buy it and go well this isn't actually very good. Um, you know most games have problems, in fact all games have problems. Um, so there's no point hiding it, and I might as well really show them to you. I mean, not like I was ever hiding it exactly, but you know what I mean. Anyway, what is Chip? Uh, Chip is a kind of puzzle game. Well, as I say, kind of puzzle game. Actually, it is a puzzle game uh, involving uh, this lovely little red robot, and um, I would assume his robot girlfriend, uh, and. From what I could see, uh, the robot devil uh, comes into it somewhere as well. Um, there's quite a lot of levels. I've been playing, I've played 33 of the first, no, there's 33 thingies. There's, oh, you know what I mean. Look, there's however many levels here. 20. 20 levels times three. There's 60 levels at the moment, I think. Uh, they're not very long, but there's more on the way, apparently. It says over here... Uh, more levels are on the assembly line, so hopefully this will be updated for, for nothing. Um, oh, wrong button. But yeah, the level's quite short, quite a simple premise. Basically, the game revolves around... Uh, I'll have to do this as I haven't done it. Uh, okay, yeah is basically you've got somewhere on each level you have Chip or uh, his girlfriend or whoever you've unlocked. So I've actually got one unlocked but we're playing with Chip at the moment. And you get these cannons which shoot like electrical balls and you have to get one to hit Chip and wake him up. Simple premise but not quite as simple in uh, actually doing it as you might think. Um, there's also other cannons which you can wake up. These are like mirrors that bounce it around. Things with circular bases can be rotated, um, other things can be moved. If you can click on it and get a, uh, a circle around it, it means it can be moved, as well as things being rotated. And that's basically it so far. I mean, there's more to it. There's batteries and other bits and bobs which do different things. Um, but each time you've basically got to complete the level, you've got a time limit and move limit which gives you extra light bulbs to uh, unlock extra stuff. You also get money which you can spend in the shop which I'll show you after I've done a couple of levels. Uh, so let's see here. This is going to shoot diagonally and it's going to intersect this path here. Now that's going to, we're going to make that bounce it's going to bounce up. It's got the proper like angles of incidence and reflection and things. So hitting a mirror here will bounce it this way unless we... Well, I think that's all we can do. So we move that... Oh. This will start the timer, by the way, but it doesn't matter about time here. We're just working this out. So you move it here. And then you can rotate. Now, if we put it... If we put it like that, it will bounce straight back at the cannon. If we put it like that, it will bounce off and it will come in this direction. It will hit this. This can't be moved or rotated. So it's going to hit that and bounce off and hit this. Now, this can be moved, I believe. Can it? No, it just be rotated. So if you wanted to, you can do it that way. And then you can mess around with some stuff and you can... Uh, 
you can get, pick up the money bag and give it to Chip. We're not going to bother with that right now. What I'm going to do is just move it that way. And this should work. So you bonks off there. Bonks off there. Activates that. We can then shoot another one. And wake up Chip. Yay. And that is the basic premise of the game. Obviously, you're, you're, the idea is to do it as quickly and efficiently as possible for the maximum amount of score. Here we go with some batteries. Sometimes you must solve a puzzle multiple ways to get all the light bulbs. Okay. Well, we're just after the one. So, let's see what can we do. This thing can move. All these can move around in this lower area here. And this can be rotated. But, rotating it is not going to help because anywhere else it can go and in the eight directions is just going to shoot it off uh, somewhere where it can't be got. So really, we want to to hit chip here. We've got to bounce it off something. So let's start moving these out of the way. Okay, so this. Okay, that will now bounce that there. Now you can move things after the after this has been shot. So if we do that, and oh, right, let's shoot. So we. Ah, that isn't quick enough. Okay, that one's a bit of a puzzler. Let's start this again then. How the heck? Oh, it's that. It's got to be there. But that's fine. All right, yeah. There. Okay, not not a problem. There you go. Simple. I don't think I've done it in the right amount of moves. No, but I did it. And that there we go. That's the basis of Chip. Uh, this is quite a fun little game. It's the puzzles haven't been super taxing so far. Can we move that one? No, we can't. We can move that. Um, and we can move that. Uh, we're not too worried about the present just at the minute. Oh, we can rotate this as well. So I mean, dum dum. Okay, we could shoot at that one and get it to bounce here, and then what? Um, or we can, we can't, oh, right, so that there, that jump there, ah, here we go, maybe, no, 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 that didn't work at all, actually the puzzles do get quite tricky quite quickly I mean this is still within the first set of levels this is still you know within the first third of the game and already I'm sort of scratching my head and, and think having to think about these the first few obviously are, are really dead simple um, in fact I'll show you some of the the early levels how dead simple they are um, actually this will give us the thing so chip and his girlfriend, robot girlfriend, are feeding the robot ducks with nuts and bolts while the uh, robot devil looks on. Uh, the robot devil decides that he doesn't like Chip for some unknown reason. Uh, he, he kidnaps Chip, puts him in a, in a sack, uh, not a robo sack, just a normal sack, uh, and stuffs him in a big um, metal box. Uh, and Chip has a low battery, um, which is not good. He's not happy about that. But fortunately, he uh, finds these magical electrical cannons, uh, but then falls asleep. Uh, and that's that's it. That's the basis. So obviously, the first levels are simple, like boom, ta-da, you did it. And they're, they're, they're that easy. And uh, yes, okay. And the next one, yes, you can rotate it. We think we figured that one out. Uh, there we go. And dunk. Now I did that really slowly, but pretty simple. And so you can see how quickly they uh, the difficulty progresses uh, from from that there to, to here, where I'm I'm actually not sure how to do that one at all. Um, and not many of them have I actually gotten all three bulbs on. I have to say. So it's not a simple game. I mean, it is a simple game, but it's not easy thing. you pick up money for doing these as well as light bulbs and money lets you go into the shop the shop lets you uh, the chip shop 
which is actually quite funny if you're from England. Um, let's you you can swap between. Let's see, I've got pin uh, unlocked, and I haven't got the robot devil unlocked yet. Um, but yeah, you can also buy. There's quite a lot of uh, parts you can buy for uh, say head, face. Uh, eyes, body, arms, feet. I mean, there's there's a whole variety of stuff that's uh, that's quite funny. Some of it, it's, it's quite of dumb, but you know, it's all just a little bit of fun. It doesn't actually cost you anything real money outside of you know the game. It's uh, all in-game money. Um, it makes me think maybe with this, the way it's got a little in-game cash shop, that perhaps it, this game was originally uh, a mobile game. I don't know. To be honest, um, but it's uh, it's there's no extra cost on PC on Steam, so the game itself is reasonably cheap. I think it's like five, four, five pounds. It's on 25% off on its first week, I believe, so it's it would cost me like three pounds fifty. Um, so it's a good job to get now. Uh, there's a good amount of content, I think, for for the uh, price of the game uh, and it's an interesting game it's a cool little puzzle game I haven't really found anything wrong with it uh, other than options uh, is there's this you can full screen a window and you can change your resolution those are your options um, there's your that's the uh, thingy there's your exit button no tool tips for any of these um, I mean, they're not too difficult to work out, but it would be nice to have tool tips. Also, your sound options are either music on or off, uh, sounds on or off. That's that's the entirety of the options for this game. But then again, something like this, I don't suppose it needs a lot of graphical options. I mean, I'm pretty sure that this game could run on a calculator, so I don't really see anybody having a problem with it. Uh, I mean, the graphic style is quite nice, but it is very simple. It's just sort of cartoony, 2D images, really not taxing on anything. The the music is quite nice, I think. Um, it's nice to be able to turn it off, um, especially as there's no volume options. Whew, I actually had to turn the volume down in Windows options, uh, and it's still a little bit loud. Um, and, of course, there's your trophy room here. It tells you your... Uh, Things you've done. Um, there's like your sort of achievements and things. High scores, which have got leaderboards. I think there's leaderboards. Yeah, yeah, you've got an achieve for that as well. So that's okay. That's not an online leaderboard by the look of it. Or maybe it will be. I I don't know. This game just came out, so there might be some features missing, which. Honestly, it would be slightly annoying if it is. You'd expect them to release a game fully done, but, you know, that's not always the way. Uh, I really want to have a another look at this level then quickly. Right, so, pin. Uh, bounce that off there. Then down to there. Then that will come back to... Oh! I see. Right. Ding, ding, right, we want to do that, and then, there we go. See, once you figure out how, it's actually really simple. Didn't get the present, of course, but, I mean, the levels are actually that simple. You just have to figure out how, and that's not always the easiest thing to do. But we got three, I've got three bulbs on that one, so that's fantastic. Well, there you go. Um, now, that will be a bing, up, ding, up. Oh wow, there's only... I see, right, so we want to bounce it there, and then back, and off there, and then back up there, so... Go. There we go. Now if it just does it in time, we get three again. No, didn't get the money bag, of course. There we go. Fantastic. And there we go. We've got... That's all of those ones. I think we've... You get uh, bonus levels as well. Uh, which you can... If you're getting a certain amount of things. The bonus levels are really, really, really hard. I looked at the first one and I was just like... Yeah, right. Okay, I ain't doing that anytime soon. 
But I do need that uh, 50 of these. I've got 41. I need 50 to unlock the next set of levels. And 120 to unlock the third set of levels. So that's quite a lot. Now, I don't know if there's um, Steam Workshop integration yet. I, I haven't seen it. I'm guessing there probably will be. Uh, well, I'm hoping there will be because more you know, user-generated levels would be fantastic. Maybe that's something to come. We do not know yet. Um, but overall, I'd say this game's not bad. Uh, it's worth the money, I reckon. It's fairly cheap, and there's a good few hours of, of puzzling fun in here. And I'd say I've done the first set of levels now. Um, they, it's only going to get harder from here, obviously. More things should be introduced, uh, which make the game even harder. And these puzzles, they do they do tax the brain a fair bit already. At least they do tax my brain a fair bit already. I, I don't know about you, maybe people out there will just solve them all pretty much instantly. But me, yeah, they, it wasn't easy. But I think that's about it. I mean, there's not much else to say about this game. I really don't have anything bad to say. Um, it's a simple, fun puzzle game that's fairly cheap and will give you a few hours of entertainment. With a decent amount of like unlockable customization stuff as well, which is just for the hell of it. Um, so yeah, that's that's it. But I, uh, I think I'll call this to an end now. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Please, uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit like, uh, hit favorite, drop a comment below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Uh, do so. Um, it's always appreciated. Uh, it really, it really does help a lot. Uh, so, I will be back with more of this and other things, uh, not necessarily this game, uh, but more stuff on Steam and other things uh, pretty soon, but until then, goodbye.